The truth of the creation account and the truth of the gospel is that at the core of the world isn't competition, but communion. If all things hold together in the goodness of God, there's nothing to be afraid of. Our church is really grappling with some statistics that were released that showed that 75% of evangelical students who go off to secular schools leave the faith. And it said the number one reason was because of issues of science. Like it's, it's science, and science is always supposed to be right. Well, if this is right, then how can faith be right? Children today often do feel like they have to choose between science and faith. Yeah, I took biology sophomore year, and we skipped the entire evolution section. One expression of the fears that this controversy creates is that we react with anger, and we might even start to demonize those who disagree. One of the most disturbing things about the way the conversation is currently being held is that different Christians are defending their position over against other Christians in a way that tear down the body. The oneness of the body of Christ is being destroyed by our fear. We all need to engage our kids in the conversation. And that means we have to know how to have the conversation. And if we ourselves don't know how to have that conversation, our kids won't know either. For a productive conversation today on religion and science, Christian believers, I think, need to start with that big message of Scripture that God reaches out to humanity in Jesus Christ and have that be the foundation for everything else that follows. Discipleship ought to train us in the kind of virtues we need to be able to extend ourselves across difference. Those virtues aren't magic. You don't get those out of thin air. You don't even acquire them by reading the right books. It, because it's not information. You acquire the virtues through formation, through practice. When Christians worship together, that doesn't mean that they immediately trust each other, but it does mean that we have a common trust in God. Our common trust that things do hold together in Christ that ought to free up the conversation such that we can pursue the truth together across our difference. Those differences ironically, in the light of Christ, can become not threats, but gifts. When we rest in the goodness of God, the Holy Spirit calls forth something new. That's what the Colossian Forum is banking on.